All right, how you guys doing? Um, some of you are asking how you can do some of your own weather predictions or forecasting. And there's a lot of sites, but we're going to do one today, and we'll do a little quick tutorial. This one's kind of fun. It's called Null School. And this one's going to kind of let us know about Earth Null School. There you go. Just click on it. This is going to let us know about pollution, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, uh, ocean temperatures, things like that. And so you see this little button here, Earth, click on it. And this is kind of easy to use. Um, this is the grid. I'm sorry, not the grid, but the date. So we're going to do, we can go back in time if you'd like and compare. But today's the 28th uh, of January. All right, we'll use that. So we're going to do live. So we're doing live. And we're going to, you can also pick what type of earth we want. I'm going to do the round earth, okay? See down here is, uh, you could pick. I'm using right here O, all right, because I like to move the earth around. I like a round earth. So let's just go to, let's just go right to particles. Let's go to particles, okay? And then later we'll get into uh, carbon monoxide, okay? So D in particles is dust, okay? So let's just look at the dust levels and see how dusty our world is. And you can see the blues are pretty clean and dust. Now the dust can be caused by a lot of things, okay? So let's just, let's just, you know, let's just, if you do this every day, and there's other sites, I usually use like seven or eight sites. This is kind of fun. It's a lot funner doing this than watching the weatherman, you know? Um, so here, look at this. Wow, Africa's pretty dusty. The pink is pretty dirty. And you can actually click on, and it'll tell you okay it'll tell you the levels okay and you can compare the levels of dust we're just gonna do dust why is Africa all dusty well this one's kinda easy Africa happened to be on fire this whole upper part's been on fire for months and months they've been burning the farmland and all this dust ends up going into the ocean and around our world swing around here real quick up oh, look at this there's fires right now in Australia and look at that there's a cyclone We'll get into that a little bit, but all this dust is pretty much kind of going across the land. So, so this is dust, all right. So maybe we want to get a little. Maybe we want to look at. Um, I'm going to go for particles. Now look at this. P1, P2.5, and 10. These are these are microns, okay. So these are big. P10s. You know that could be like soot, things that kind of fall out of the sky. You know if there's fires, the soot falls down. It could be pollen, things that settle out pretty quickly and get stuck in your nostrils. Okay, it doesn't get down into your lungs. So here we could see, you know, wow, look at the Europe. Ooh, very dirty. You know, everyone's yelling at America. Look at these guys. These guys are polluting. And this is probably from the fire, right? The soot. Okay, and then a lot of this is from. Uh, combustion okay burning and chemical plants and they're major polluters over there I mean, look at us oh we're nice we're not too bad here but look we got fracking going on you could actually you know zoom in on this okay and you could zoom in on uh, uh, on this pretty easily okay and then you could actually check each one for example that one there um, is uh, 117 um, micrograms per centimeter squared. So that's kind of dirty, okay? So now we're going to move on to a couple different particulates. Let's move on to the stuff that gets in our lungs. 2.5s, okay? These are a little bit bigger. Most of your mold spores, like your penicillium, your cladosporium, you know, your your aspergilli, your, 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 your slime molds, get stuck in your nose. You know, when your furnace kicks on, you start sneezing. So these are, you know, fives to tens. Two fives go down into the lungs, and ones actually go into the cilia. So let's just look at dangerous places. <coughs> Excuse me. And so U.S. isn't too bad. I do notice, though, that we have a lot of particulate here uh, along the coast, the Pacific coast. We have those fires, right? And there's a lot of fracking going on here, fracking, fracking. And like I said, you could zoom in on this. There's a couple volcanoes, all right? Um, kind of swinging around. Wow, look at this. Wow, look at this. I mean, if I would never hang out in this part of Africa right now. I mean, this stuff is 190 micrograms 115 micrograms per, per meter cubed okay and i don't know if we could change it to a different nope we're stuck with that one um 268 wow okay and uh and you can even see over here china 
all right now you're all wondering why 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 Russia is so nice well what's going on with that is a whole nother ball game this is uh what's happening here is our polar vortex has shifted and this is very cold so it appears that the cold weather these these are cold weather coming down from the Arctic um, it appears that that does displace our particulate maybe cause it to fall out or it could just be a satellite thing you know um, maybe the satellites um, might not get the proper readings now look at this Africa there's a fire right there look at that Africa I'm sorry Africa uh, Australia they had a lot of fires here a couple of months ago and now they're burning this part I mean this place has been on fire for a long time they're cooking there right now it's a hundred degrees and you can see this fire fires lots of fires aren't helping much okay now there is a cyclone coming in and maybe they'll get lucky and this guy will come here and wipe that out but you know you'd have to look at this every day and check it out it's kind of fun it's, it's almost like a TV show all right and so let's move on let's look at do a couple more things so you know we did the particles now we could do chemicals and chemicals include carbon monoxide and we don't like carbon monoxide and look at this let's go over to to the America Wow look at this the East Coast these people are polluting big time this is parts per billion 800 parts per billion in California look at that 443 you know and you know it's funny I hate to say this but these the people on this side and on this side are the ones crying about this they're crying about this and where's it all coming from from their parts of town I live over here now it's probably a lot to do with population okay and car exhaust and combustion and incomplete combustion but my god this is this is astronomical here in California a thousand seventy five parts per billion Wow all right so that's carbon monoxide let's go to carbon dioxide oh yeah we worried we don't want the carbon dioxide right and let's see who's polluting carbon dioxide well looks like the people on the East Coast are producing a lot and we're not gonna blame it on the cows okay because the cows are up in here all right let's go over to here oh Europe's do oh yeah the Europeans are causing a lot of carbon dioxide a lot of its natural not a whole lot here this is where the fire started see this line of carbon dioxide and let's move on and you can see the carbon dioxide production through the world and it changes so for example let's just for the heck of it let's do the US we'll go to earth and we see it now let's just go back uh, let's see if it changed last year same day let's see if it changed let's see if it changed well a little bit okay the temperatures were different you know we're, we're good we're going through we got the polar vortex maybe that has a lot to do it uh, so let's just go back let's go back to 2019 let's do a few more little things so this is a little tutorial I'm not going to show you to use all of it I think it's it's kind of self-explanatory um, once you get into it here we go so2 and a lot of so2 is produced by incomplete combustion fracking um, it's also so4 which is produced by decomposition so if you have a lot of rain you can have a lot of leaves causing this stuff you know and you can see how this is a little bit it's not heat some people think this is a heat map it's not this is uh, sulfur in the air you know and it sounds like I would never go to this area you know and I would never go to this area right now I'd probably bring a mask if I went to China those people are getting asphyxiated I mean not just when carbon and sulfur but in carbon monoxide carbon dioxide in particulate and so it does more it does the air so you can look at your um, uh, up you can look at your wind it does temperature you could do your um, you could do the um, you could do uh, surface temperatures you could do the uh, um, the wind currents in the upper atmosphere you could do the jet stream very cool ocean it does ocean waves I like the waves this is kind of fun ocean waves let's do uh, the height of the waves let's close this off and see who's gonna be surfing look at that there's a bunch of waves right here in the Pacific and what these are oh that's eight meters we don't like meters 28 footers look at that 28 that's not too bad I've seen them as far as 60 feet and 70 feet we got some waves over here upper Canada okay and a lot of turbulence so if you're going on a, a cruise you might want to look at this you know if you're going on a Alaskan cruise and you're gonna to go to these islands 
I wouldn't be going on that cruise because you're going to be bouncing around in 30 footers. So it's kind of cool. This is very cool. You can use it for a lot of different things. Um, anyways, we're going to end this video here. And I think you guys get the idea. You could change to different different settings of the earth. You could do the flat earth. You could do the round earth. Um, you could do space. You could look up in space and look at this. There's our our borealis look at that those are our our northern lights let me show you close up there you go the northern lights it just shows you now now i might go up to here and watch northern lights there looks like they're pretty nice and they're also down of course in the arctic so i want to thank you guys for coming on this is my first one we're going to be doing these live i'm going to do a few other uh, weather um, forecasting type sites because this is kind of a fun little hobby so please rate and subscribe this will be on youtube and I'll bump it over to Facebook, and we'll do live the next one. Thanks.